Hi there, Christian Henson from Spitfire Audio here. My personal pledge or motto for 2021 is to try and spend more time doing less. I'm a bit of a kitchen sinker when it comes to making arrangements. I tend to overcompensate with sheer volumes of stuff. This isn't what our clients want. They want a purity of vision. The other thing that I'm really incredibly passionate about is us all finding our own voice. And I would have to say that this is at its most important when we're pitching for stuff, to create something that is a pure vision and is something that is totally original to you. Now, I'm going to push to one side short form stuff like advertising where often they'll want you to basically hit a home run in your first go when you're pitching for a bigger job say for example a computer game what you're doing is you're competing with other people's minds so what i'm going to do is basically do a practice pitch and this is something i would recommend you also doing just grabbing something off the internet today i'm going to grab marvel's spider-man mars morales announcement trailer for the ps5 and i'm just going to show you how i'd go about maybe doing something that would stick its head above the water be noticed will get you that pitch now i'm going to do something along the lines of the pitch that i did for alien isolation with my brother joe henson and his writing partner alexis smith possibly the most successful pitch that i've ever been involved with we got the gig and it was a big gig and i'm sure we got that gig because we were different Right, for this practice pitch, I'm going to primarily be using CDT or Contemporary Drama Toolkit, created and curated by Samuel Sim and the Spitfire team over the last three years. It's not just for contemporary subject matter, it's just a library simply bursting at the seams with the zeitgeist. So what I've done is just a standard kind of uh, ripper off the internet and I'm just going to load that into my door of choice. Now I'm not going to use any of the audio from the trailer but I'm going to extract it otherwise you're not going to be able to mute it. And I've purposely picked this trailer because uh, to my knowledge it wasn't uh, scored. There's basically this intro here and then this action sequence which is just it's just a track playing on this so i didn't want to diss another composer's work by going i'm going to do something better than that if we have a look at this action sequence i think a standard route would be uh etc etc so what i want to do is go a little bit deeper instead of just creating a, a bed of sound and music that is kind of imitating what the imagery is already doing. I want to reach in to the emotional core of the piece. Now, I don't know if what I'm going to be doing is on or off brief. I just want to prove my ideas as a conceptualist, as a creative, to try and find something different in this imagery. And one of the most powerful ways of doing that is with the use of juxtaposition. So instead of following the picture, maybe doing something that is a counterpoint to it. So let's uh, line this all up. I'm going to get rid of all of this audio here. What I'm going to do is find the frame that I want to start at. All of my cues, for a number of reasons, start on bar five. I won't bore you with those now, but always good to have a little bit of leader so you can count in musicians or your conductor, or indeed just get your, your plugins fired up. Right, so first thing I'm going to do is just put a massive old hit on that. We don't have any hits in CD2, so I'm just going to grab one from Albion 1. So now I'm going to switch to CDT, Contemporary Drama Toolkit, which is designed as a compositional tool. I use it with both hands and access the different layers with velocities. And I'm basically going to write something on the fly. I haven't prepared this. The act of composition is not waiting for inspiration to strike. It's waiting for the mistakes to stop. But I also want to show you how quick CDT is. One of the real fears I have with pitching is not having enough time as my other competitors, because I'm a bit of a job tart and tend to take too much on. CDT gets you there quicker. 
I just want this to be just rising and rising and rising. It's almost like an intro for the next piece of music. So this is going to be more sound designy, uh, but we've got these amazing textures. So within the instruments folder, you've got a whole load of, these are basically banks of sounds. You can then switch between the sounds, browse really nice and quickly here. These nice strings as well. Let's just have a little look at this. That, to me, proves the power of curation when it comes to making sounds. Samuel Sim and the Spitfire team have taken about three years to create CDT, and that's what's producing these instant rewards here. Amazing. Now, because this is a really kind of cinematic imagery, I'm going to set up a nice cinematic uh, reverb, a bit of splosh, as I call it, and I'll put that on a send bus. So I can send varying amounts to some reverb here. And what I might do on this one is actually put some delay on the track itself. This will ensure the delay goes to the reverb as well. It's just kind of nice for that, so those slight pitchy stuff. I want to kind of just delay those off a bit. Let's just try and find some even lower down material. So this fader is opening and closing an LPF, low pass filter. I'm just going to add some distortion to this, which I'm then going to automate. And I'm just going to stick a spreader on it so it's uh, it's kind of all all around stereo. to this so it's like really pure and tight mono at first. We go from slow motion to real speed there. I need to get a little bit of motivation there, and then I think this will be all I need for this section. Okay, duplicating that amazing cello sound, because I'm definitely gonna to want to automate this separately from the other stuff that it's playing. Okay, 
So this is the point. So that's 75% there. Um, I don't want to um, ningle nangle too much getting things all right and stop my kind of creative flow. So let's have a look at this second section. I'm going to put something into this black. On the original trailer, it's actually a voiceover. Um, I think he says, let's do this or something like that. I'm going to put a sound in there, but I'm not going to worry for that, about that for now. Okay, so we just need to find a kind of a tempo for this next bit. I find that cuts tend to have a, a natural rhythm of their own. That's the kind of tempo I'm feeling. Dun, dun, dun. So it's that, that's a little too fast. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna adjust the tempo so that's good there. Give us another tempo event between there and there. And I'm just going to slow that down. Or speed it up rather. Until we get bang on frame that we want. Okay, and then I'm going to go a little bit like this. There you go. I think that's going to be... Good. And then that felt a little bit more like one five, one one five. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's good. So let's just try and write something that is going against picture, is a juxtaposition, and as a consequence, possibly creates uh, a deeper sense of what's going on here as opposed to just another action sequence. Okay, so I'm going to duplicate that one-man band patch, which has got an amazing bottom end, but I suspect I may want to automate this separately from the kind of guitar-y, chorus -y stuff at the top. So that's just using two sounds. Really, really love that. I'm going to actually up the amount of reverb that we've got kind of coming out of the splosh box and a bit of delay possibly on that as well. Just stunning vocals from Homai there. Let's look at this sound that we're going to use here. I was thinking maybe a guitar-y sound. Again, CDT's got all of these amazing strings, synths vocals, guitars, there's some pianos in there as well. They're not like virtual instruments, they're 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 purposely characterful. Another hit there. Okay, what I'm going to do here is a little reversey thing. I'm going to put that into audio. I'm just going to quickly reverse that. Am I 
be nice to not have the guitar coming straight in on the one. Yeah, I'm not sure about that, but cheesy, a bit 70s. Liking. And maybe what we can do is just automate that. Right, so I'm going to keep these coming out just of the standard outputs. I'm going to make these come out of another bus and then. I'm going to send these to their own splosh bus. So splosh one, splosh two, kill switch. I'm just going to copy that over. And then I'm going to automate this kill switch here uh, to imitate exactly what this guitar is doing. And the reason I've included the reverb is, as you heard here, you get that kind of decay, which makes it less dramatic. So. Let's just uh, get ourselves a track up here, new audio track. And I'm going to reassign that to bus, kill switch. And, and we're just going to do a hard out there. Okay, let's just check that out. And then I'm just going to unkill this back to zero, and then we're going to have a repeat of our experience there. Let's get this right bang on the cut there. Okay, and what I'm actually going to do, just to get the end absolutely right, I want it to come off bang on a beat. So what I'm going to actually do is speed up this tempo here until we get it bang on frame. And maybe some low. So we're going to get that bit over the lightning. What we're going to do is going to get us another kill switch. So let's put these out of a fourth bus. Kill switch two. That, reassign track, mixer, aux, kill switch two, and that's going to die here. I just want to make a little bit, just give it a little bit more gravity, this guitar. So my favorite plugin, which you get free with your Mac, which is AU pitch. Let's take it down the octave. Nice and smooth. Tightness down. Don't need it to be tight. And effect blend about 50%. <laughs> it's good. And maybe a bit of sub bass. up there yeah easy with the amount of sub bass now not required because you put it knocked it down just 
be lucky. Got a little set of masters that I use. Just scooping out a bit of this area, which I don't enjoy, kind of around the 1K, boosting uh, at around 14 is its peak, but just the airy section there. Chop off the very bottom to make your mix more efficient. Suppression in the compressor just to stop the big peaks and then some sausage meat creation here with your louderizer. Now, I like that effect I put on that guitar there, so I'm going to repeat that on there. Right, so that's me working an hour and a bit, an hour and a few minutes on this practice Spider-Man pitch, and I hope... I've demonstrated to you my kind of resolution of spending more time doing less with less and with the tools that you pick, make every sound and note really mean something and mean something that is personal to you, that stands you out from the crowd, from within the swamp of Ostinati. Thanks, as always, for watching till the end. Uh, we've got loads more information about CDT linked below alongside videos which we've made and are making. So do subscribe if you haven't done already and ding that bell to be notified the next time we put a video up. See you again next time. Bye-bye.